Yeah, yeah, Wednesday, 15th or 16th of January. Hell, I can't remember that, never can. Anyway, I had my five gallon bucket catching rainwater for my bird bath. Here's what happened there. It's froze solid and my bucket cracked. It's a used bucket, ain't no big deal. Of course, bird bath is froze solid. Uh, bird feeders were almost empty and I filled them up I believe Saturday and uh, I did notice the doves were already here this morning when I got here normally they don't come over until 2 33 o'clock in the afternoon so we're thawing out um, right now it's about 32 degrees the only ice on the roads is in the shadowed area. Yeah. Uh, supposed to get down to low 20s tonight. Or high teens, one or the other. Uh, tomorrow, supposed to be almost 60. And it'll cool back off towards the first of next week. And the uh, first thing I did when I got here was look at my poor little vegetable garden. And surprisingly, it don't look horrendous. Now the ones that are wilted on the ground are the ones we cut like the cabbage and broccoli and cauliflower from. But this was all completely frozen solid. But this little broccoli has not turned to mush Maybe I should add a yet to that. And, uh, my kale looks pretty chirpy, to tell you the truth. And it got down to seven degrees. Uh, here's one where we cut a cabbage. That cabbage still frozen. You can feel it's trying to thaw out. So. Could be I lost all my cabbage. But I don't know. I ain't gonna fool with it. I'll let it ride. There's my banana peel from today's lunch. Uh, the ground's starting to thaw out. So, I just don't know. Uh, come in. Of course, I always turn on my big heater just to overwarm the building. During this cold snap, I was just using my little milk house heater over here. A little brown heater there. I had it pointed to all my water piping and everything. But, my spray jug of water did not freeze or get any ice in it. And I come in and my wall thermometer up high said it was 48 degrees in here. So, uh, I can't, I, I bragged on it and bragged on it and bragged on it. I can't brag enough about this spray foam insulation, especially in my house. It's just amazing the result up there. Seven degrees, the heater come on for five to six, seven minutes, cycle back off. 45 minutes to an hour later, come back on, five, six, seven minutes, cycle back off. So uh, it's definitely paying for itself in energy savings. Yeah, you might see them, you might not. As soon as I left the bird feeders, the little sparrow type birds come flying over real quick. They need the calories because of the cold. Not too concerned about water for them. There's a creek across the street, it's right down the road. Uh, not even very far, a couple hundred yards maybe. Plus, as this lot thaws out, There'll be a lot of standing water in the lot. 
so they'll have water. Anyway, looks like the only thing I lost so far is a five gallon bucket that was used. I got plenty of them. I'll set another one of them out there. But, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, to further aid and not damaging the water lines in the building, went ahead and turned the water off at the meter. Some places you can do that. Uh, some places the municipality will get all over you if they catch that you do. Uh, I'm not going to do much today. Uh, keep on polishing on the truck windshield. I got to have water. And uh, don't really feel like fooling with water. I'm going to have to drain it again before I go because it's going to get cold again tonight. And then. Uh, have a few days of warming trend and it'll get cold again. It's winter time. But we're halfway through January, so once we get into March, the super, super cold weather is pretty much non existent. You know, we'll get down to 30, but no more of this teens to single digit. That's done with by the end of February. But anyway, that's all for this one. Thank you.